what's up guys welcome to my channel if you are new yet my name is divine i'm a musical five minominak drummer and a keyboardist i have been for many many years i started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so so fantastic make sure you follow us on instagram at the perseverance reaction in order to recommend the favorite singers for us to react to What's up YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today guys, we're back here with some new videos. guys. I'm Zay, my beautiful guest. It's a My boy. name is Divin and welcome to the best of guys. Today we're going to be reacting to 10 surprising scientific miracles in the Quran. Wow! wow. This is going to be amazing it's guys. So cool. Let's see the scientific miracles guys. I would love to watch it. You guys keep on recommending nice, nice videos because the title alone, you are already curious. Yeah, what, I what, just want to know what's going to happen. Um, you know how it is, guys? Talk Talk about right 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 right. Let's get into this video. Muslims from all around the world view the Quran as a direct revelation from God, and often passages of the Quran related to science are used as evidence of the Quran's divine origins. Welcome to another FTV Facts episode. My name is Leroy Canton, and in this episode, it was actually requested by Don Zahir Machiavelli, and many of you also requested this topic too, so thank you for your video suggestion. And now this was an extremely fascinating episode, so you definitely gotta watch it up until the end. I don't want you to miss any of these 10 miracles. So the first thing is the speed of light. Muslims believe that angels are created from light, and the angels communicate the affairs of God which they get from what is known as a preserved tablet in outer space. And the speed at which they travel to and from this tablet it turns out to actually be the speed of light. In the Quran, Surah 32 verse 5, it says, Allah rules the cosmic affairs from the heavens to the earth. Then this affair travels to him a distance in one day, at a measure of 1,000 years of what you count. Hence, in one day, the angels will travel a distance of 1,000 years according to the lunar calendar because that's what Muslims counted at that time. The belief is that God is saying that the angels travel in one day the same distance that the moon travels in 12,000 lunar orbits. 12,000 lunar orbits or Earth days oh. equals the speed of light. Now science shows that. Now the atmosphere protects us is the next thing. So the atmosphere protects Earth from radiation and meteorites. Now this is also portrayed in the Quran 1400 years ago. In the Quran, Surah 21 verse 32, it says, and we made the sky a protective shield and they turn away from its sign. The next scientific miracle in the Quran is female bees are the worker bees. So worker bees are actually all females. Now the Quran refers to bees that generate honey as females. So listen to this. In the Quran, Surah 16 verses 68 to 69, it says, and your Lord revealed to the bees Build your hives in mountains, trees, and in what they build. Then eat from every fruit and follow your Lord's enslaved paths. From its bellies exists drink of different color, in it healing for man. So in Arabic, the word eat or kuli is for females, and that's used in the Quran. And the term follow a path is the word usluki in Arabic, and that refers to females as well. As also the term its bellies is butuniha, and that's also used for females. The Quran also mentions hearing before seeing. So this is what I mean. So hearing is one of the first senses to develop. Now this is only known in recent history and it's also mentioned in the Quran. The Quran Surah 76 verses 2 it says we created man from a fertilizing sperm to test him and we made him hearing and seeing. Also the Quran Surah 23 78 it says it is he who produced for you the hearing and the eyesight and the feelings but little gratitude you show. So the Quran always refers to the hearing before the seeing, which turned out to be the actual order of human development in the womb. Flight comes in at number six. So the Quran is also believed by Muslims to have foretold that humans someday would be able to reach the sky. In Surah 29, 22, it says, you cannot escape Allah's might on earth or in the sky, and you have no protector and no savior besides Allah. Also in Surah 84, 19, it says, you will ride one layer from another layer. The word tabak in Arabic means layer in English, and from this came certain myths about flying carpets, but now the flying aircrafts that go up layer upon layer are what we know today. Also, sound waves. According to the University of Washington, the original sound waves were not temperature variations, but they were actual real sound waves 
spreading around the universe. Now in the Quran, Surah 41 verse 11 indicates this and it says, Then he directed himself to the heaven when it was smoke and then said to it and to the earth, Come willingly or by force. They said, We do come willingly. So the heaven replying back implies that the heaven had a voice, which would mean it emitted a sound wave. Another miracle Muslims point to is high altitudes affect your breathing. As altitude increases, atmospheric pressures and oxygen levels in the atmosphere actually decrease, which eventually gets to a point where we can no longer breathe. Now, we all know this the higher you go, the harder it is to. To breathe. Now in the Quran, Surah 6 verse 125, it says this, Those whom Allah wants to guide, he opens their chest to Islam, and those whom he wants to leave astray, he makes their chest tight and constricted, as if they are ascending to the sky. Bones forming before muscles is also another miracle. Apparently the first formation of actual bones happens in the jawbone at day 41, and about three days later, that's when the associated muscles are formed. And in the Quran, Surah 23 verse 14 it says then we develop the semen into a leech then we develop the leech into a lump then we develop the lump into bones then we clothe the bones with flesh then we produce it into another creature most blessed is Allah the best of creators number two now we look at the part of the brain responsible for lying so for centuries everybody thought that the frontal part of the human brain was responsible for sight because of course it's at the front of your head but we know now that the part responsible for vision is actually at the back of the brain so if you fall back and hit the back of your head it could affect your sight or make your eyes go cross-eyed but now science shows us that the frontal part of our brain or the prefrontal cortex text is responsible for forming intelligent thoughts like creating lies. And Muslims quote the Quran Surah 96 verse 16 that says, a lying sinful forehead, which indicates that lying is happening mm. in the front of your head. Now, number one, we have planets, stars, and all of the celestial bodies are actually moving. For centuries, it was believed that the Earth was fixed and the sun and the moon and other planets and the stars and all that revolved around the Earth. But an interesting passage from the Quran that the Muslims point to is Surah 39 verses 5, and it says, Allah created the heavens and the Earth in truth. He overlaps the night over the day and overlaps the day over the night and enslaves the sun and the moon all move to a pre-recorded destiny. All right, guys, so these were just some of the passages that Muslims call miracles of the Quran. But now I want to hear from you. Join in on the conversation down below. And if you have any requests for any future FTD Facts episodes, also leave them down below or shoot me a message on social media. All right, now check you out, you overachievers, making it to the end of another episode. Guys, this was really amazing, guys. I love the thoughts. And uh, he really explained it out. Uh, it just how it relates, like each mm -hmm. way the Quran says relates to what is actually happening. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a proof. I keep on saying it like, do allow scientists to try prove you wrong because they will want to bring that fact like we're too much from apes, we don't exist, uh, no one created us. Nope. There are facts in the Bible, according to him, there are facts in Quran, and uh, he does give us a proof where the facts is. What have happened like thousands of years ago, mm. like the reason now we are discovering them. Even scientists was over wrong talking about the um, the human science being in the forehead instead of being in the back. So they are all this wrong every time. Talk more of where you come from, your creator who gave you the world, the Quran itself. Have explained everything, no matter how someone comes out to prove the Bible wrong to me, I will never believe. Because we have our own facts. It's it's like a guide that's guiding us through our life paths. You have to follow. That's what they say you have to read to understand. So we have to read the Bible every time to understand what it's trying to tell us. You two have to read the Quran and understand what it's saying. And Quran, I'm giving you facts about what is really happening. Mm -hmm. And that's it. The, Totally. At the end thereof, we have to go and meet our Messiah. We have to go and meet God at the judgment seat. Everything in this world happened for a purpose. Things that have happened in the Quran that we're actually seeing right now yeah. is, yeah, that is a very big miracle because we're just reflecting what is already written then for a thousand years ago. Like, how the person just came to the future and said, oh, this is what is happening now, then go back to right? No. 
it has been there. They have seen the vision. They have seen the things. Yeah. You see, if you check out the Bible, it says nothing on earth is new. Whatever is here, it has been there before. So they already know what is here. God already, he created it. So definitely he knows what he created. So watching it, I just, I just have smile on my face because when scientists talk about they can believe this, they believe in fat and stuff. See, when it comes to Christianity, when it comes to religion, it's faith. You just have to take a leap of faith. It's not everything you need to see before you say, okay, I believe this. Yeah. You have the faith, you have to believe in your heart. You know, God, he's a Messiah. So you just have it in your heart. I believe in God. I believe he's the truth, the way and the life. So he's just there. So you're just going to go with that leap of faith. And anything you do, honestly, you're just going to prosper. Because God is always there for his own. I did enjoy this. I love the fact. There's a lot of things. If you just sit and read either the Quran or the Bible, you're going to see a lot of things that's happening this day that have been written for a very long time yeah. ago. And you'll be so amazed, honestly. So guys, coming up, we love you for some watching this video. How's your reaction? Give us a thumbs up. Share the video as the main ones. Can't subscribe to the channel, guys. Know how it is. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers, pass that 808, that don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater, baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore, buku bitch, in my bed, I got scales all